Hi, welcome to Veterinary Clinical Anatomy channel. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the anatomy of the humerus bone in the dog. The humerus is the bone of the brachium which proximally articulates with the scapula to form the shoulder joint and distally articulates with the radius and ulna in forming the elbow joint. The head of the humerus is oval in shape and articulates with the glenoid cavity of the scapula. The greater tubercle is a large projection situated on the craniolateral side of the proximal end of the humerus. The lesser tubercle is a medially flattened enlargement found on the proximal medial part of the humerus. Between the greater and lesser tubercle, there is a groove, which the tendon of biceps brachii muscle moves and named intertubercular groove. The humerus neck is the fusion line between the head, parts of the tubercles and the shaft. The humerus body is the long and slightly S-shaped section that connects the head and neck to the condyle. The tricipital line marks the lateral surface of the body of the humerus. The most prominent structure on the lateral surface of the humerus is the deltoid tuberosity, which serves as the insertion point for the deltoid muscle. This most lateral surface of the humerus is formed by the brachial screw, also known as the musculospiral groove. Here you can see a tuberosity for insertion of the teres minor muscle. The caudal surface has a transversely rounded margin that extends to the distal fourth of the bone. At that point it is continued by the lateral supracondylar crest. Below the middle of the caudal surface you can see the nutrient foramen which is directed distally. While the medial surface is generally transversely rounded its proximal fourth has a nearly flat triangular area. In this view, again, you can easily see the head of the humerus, greater tubercle, lesser tubercle, intertubercular groove, and the neck. Here is an indistinct area where the teres major muscle inserts. The cranial surface of the humerus is narrow and begins proximally at the crest of the greater tubercle. This crest passes just medial to the deltoid tuberosity. The humeral condyle is the distal end of the humerus. It is divided into the smaller laterally located capitulum for articulation with the radius and the much larger medially located trochlea which articulates with both the head of the radius and the trochlear notch of the ulna. And now you write the name of this foramen in comments. Here is the radial fossa, which is located on the cranial surface of the condyle.
The lateral epicondyle is a lateral prominence of the humeral condyle. Extending proximally from the lateral epicondyle, the lateral supracondylar crest is a thick crest that ends by blending with the caudal surface. The olecranon fossa is a deep cavity on the caudal humeral condyle that receives the ulnar anconal process during elbow extension. The medial epicondyle is the medial prominence of the condyle. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. In the next video, we will talk about the anatomy of the femur bone in the dog.